Recently, I've asked to share my experience related with the ServiceNow Agile application. Hi, I'm Mohammed Kamal. On today's episode, I'll share my experience related with the ServiceNow Agile application, and as well as I'll show you how to create an intake process for your end users to read the story. Let's hop onto the laptop and get started. My experience, my best experience regarding using the agile development and as well as creating a story uh, with that i do say that uh, not recommending the end users to create a story rather rather i really encourage to create some kind of intake process for your end users to uh, create a mechanism where the end users they can request it could be like enhancements or defects so for that, you can use different ServiceNow applications like the Service Catalog. And what I, uh, from my vast experience, what I like most is the demand management. So with the demand management, you can absolutely get um, the end users enhancement and then their defect request through the demand management. So if I just um, go ahead and find here, the demand application with that if you go if you scroll down you have right here demand and getting started roadmap and the demand workbench creates new and all so if you go ahead and click create new demand you can see that you can give it a name whatever the name of the demand you can say and here is the most important thing these two are mandatory which is the category and type so what do you see right here is a strategic. If you are uh, looking for a strategic things, you can put them as a project or enhancement or continual improvement. But if you are requesting an operational, which is basically goes to the change and defect. So if it is an operational, it could be a zero change or a defect. So with that, if, uh, for example, if we go ahead and create an operational and if it is a change or if it is a defect then give it a name over here for example uh, one of the defect could be error while logging in so with this uh, error while logging in that's an error while logging in, right? So it should be double R over there, error while logging in. So this is one of the defect. Now let's go ahead and save this defect and I will show you where you can find this defect. So when you create this defect here using the demand, this defect automatically, you can find that defect here uh, under related link, you will have a link for you to create a defect. So create defect. Now, if you go ahead and click that related link, which is create defect, now you can absolutely go ahead and create. So for you, the name is automatically uh, written for you, which is error while logging in. And the category is operational types defect. And here is a defect number, which is automatically assigned. If you want to give it, you know, detailed information here, what the state or the number, the start date, the end date, the priority, you know, all cool stuff you can add, but if you don't want, just want to keep like that, you can just update this one. And this defect is automatically created for you. There is a way you can go ahead and check it. So if you go to the agile development here with the agile development, so you have a section where it say defect. And if you click the defect right there, Error while configuring the model is automatically created in your agile development. And you can see right here the activity, who created, what was the uh, impact, and the priority in the state because those are automatically uh, there. So that's the short description. You can add the description, the work notes, and the assignment. And you can see uh, now it is in draft go to scoping, awaiting approval, uh, work in progress, testing QA, deployment, and then it will go to closing. So that's in another important here, you see stories. And one of the best practice I am recommending in addition with this is that 
if you have one defect you can associate that defect to many stories many stories but not, it's not recommended to associate a lot of um, uh, like your stories with many defect but one defect you can associate it with many stories so you can have a lot of stories over here so that is an important thing I wanna go ahead and take you back to the uh, demand again and I will show you I'm gonna go ahead and show you I'm gonna create another demand here and this time instead of uh, from the operational instead of creating uh, from operational I'll make it a strategy and then I'll make it for example enhancements when I have some enhancement which is I will need to have the uh, portal I want to have an enhancement just sample enhancement over here portal UI which is user interface enhancement okay enhancement so let's go ahead and request this kind of enhancement, okay? It may not be correct, but portal UI enhancement in this category is strategic and it's enhancement. Like I said, it's very simple and easy. You, if they wanna fill up the detail, the business case, the financial, you can make whatever you want to mandatory here. Most of the things are not mandatory. You can ask them the assessments, like what is the impact? What is the risk? What is the value, you know, this, the, uh, RSV which is risk value and as well as the score you can ask them that and also the t-shirt value which is the financial the medium large or extra large you can ask your your uh, in the users to fill up all those by making them mandatory and if they have any notes or any preference right here you can uh, do so uh, you can make those mandatory and if you want to specify who gonna be the recipient you can do so over here so for now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, save this one which is the uh, request which is an enhancement a strategic enhancements for portal UI enhancement and now you can see right here under your related link you will have create enhancement so which means you can automatically create an enhancement for this uh, for this enhancement request so uh, as you can see right here an enhancement is automatically created with the enhancement number, the category type, and the name is automatically filled up. Like I said, you can make most of the things here mandatory if you um, want the user to fill up before it gets to you. So with that, you can also fill up here the stakeholders. Who's gonna be the stakeholders? What are the requirements? What are the risks here? What are the decisions? The resource plan, if you have any resource plan, or what are the cost plan, the benefit plan? You see all those cool steps you can ask your end user to fill up. And for that, this is uh, this enhancement is created. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and update it. Once I update it, I will go ahead to the agile development like I did earlier. And if you go to your agile development, you can see there is a section application called enhancements. So if you go to the enhancement, Right there, the portal UI enhancement. Sometimes you might have a lot of enhancements and you may not be able to find. So in that case, you can configure a prior, personalize the list and then uh, you can have uh, that created by or updated by, then you can rearrange to find it. But for me, it's so easy because I have only a few enhancements here. So the portal UI uh, enhancement, portal UI enhancements, right there, it is created by me when it was created I can see that and that's the state the priority most of the things are um, the uh, default so you can change those defaults as well the assignment group the product all those cool stuff like I said you have the story right there and with the story it is a best practice to have one defect or one enhancement associated to many stories so this is a defect this is an enhancement and this enhancement could have many stories you can associate it with many stories and I'm not even service now is not recommending to have a lot of stories associated with many defects but one defect could have many stories and the other important thing users without a scrum role they can create enhancements okay if they don't have a scrum role yes they can create enhancement but they cannot see the agile module stories what I have right here is because I have the role.
but they cannot see the agile uh, modules as well as the story but they can create these enhancements and defect but if you want your user other users to create uh, those enhancement and record you can give them a role what do we call it the future underscore user role the future role uh, user role you can give that role and uh, any users can create so with that that's all we have for today feel free to send any question you have at contact at servicenowstart.com don't forget to like comment and subscribe to our youtube channel to get more new videos until we see each other with the next episode have a great day bye